Hey, welcome aboard. It's Walter here. And if uh, if you really enjoy what we talk about here today and you find it helpful, you might also enjoy the on-demand training at nakedtradingclass.com. You can go there and get a free training on how to grow an account quickly using three different methods. What I want to talk about is brokers. The reason why I want to talk about brokers is this is a hot topic amongst Forex traders. And I'll tell you a quick story. So in a previous life, I used to have a like a smoothie shop, basically. And at the smoothie shop, I had to go away for three or four days. I can't remember. It was about, you know, about four days. And I was there every day, basically. It was a classic sort of small business where you're not making any money and you're there every day slaving away. I was literally there from five in the morning until midnight every day, like every day of the week. And when I came back from my friend's wedding, which was across the country, it was a big deal for me to go, but I really wanted to go. And I was in the wedding and all that. So I went and... Uh, Came back and I found out one of the employees was stealing money. I didn't know who it was, but I had to figure it out. Well, with Forex brokers, uh, it was it was painful, really, because I didn't know who to trust at that, at that stage. And with Forex brokers, it can be really similar. Like, you don't know, like, you hear these rumors about this broker's dodgy or this one's good or whatever, and you don't really know who to trust. Well, here's what I'll say about this. You can do a couple of different things to help yourself out. If you're making money as a Forex trader, here's what you should expect. You will get slippage. Slippage means if you put a price in your in your platform, I don't care what platform it is, you will not get that price when the market comes to that price. You, you will get a worse price. And slippage is when the market comes to your, your target or if you manually hit like get out of this trade, you will not get out at the best price. That I can guarantee you and, and wear that as a badge of honor because your broker knows that you're making money. You've been lumped into the small group of traders that makes money and your broker's basically acknowledging that. And that's fine, that's okay. Here's how to get around that and here's how to make less than the impact of it. Trade the higher time frames. If you're going for 200 pip target and your broker slips you for a pip and a half, that's nothing, right? That's literally nothing. It's like 0.75% loss of your profits, if my math is correct. <laughs> it, if you're using a 20 pip target and you're trading the 15 minute charts and your broker does that, guess what happens? You lost 10% of your profits or whatever it is, 15% of your profits, something like that. If, they, if you lose a pip and a half on the in and on the out, getting in round trip basically. So that's something to keep in mind. Not only does it activate a different area of your brain when you're planning out your trades on the higher time frames, it's, it actually means that the slippage doesn't matter as much when you have these bigger targets. Okay, next thing. Split your accounts up. So first of all, you want to have multiple accounts because if a broker goes bust, look up Franco Geddon and Forex Broker and see which ones went bust. The interesting thing about this is that the market makers didn't go bust. Who The, 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 the uh, brokers who were exposed were those who were true ECNs. Everyone thinks that true ECN is great. Okay, I get it. I understand why, right? But here's the thing. Number one, a lot of the brokers own the clearing company so they're not a true ECN. If one company owns the brokerage and the clearing house that the brokerage connects to, every, they're still making money either way. It doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter if they're a market maker or a true ECN. If, if they own the clearing company, guess what? You might as well trade with a, a market maker. And here's why. During Franco Geddon, which was in Janu January 15th, I think of 2015, might've been 2016, but a couple years ago, right? A while ago. Uh, the market moved very quickly, and you can look it up. Some brokers went bust. The reason why they went bust is they were exposed because they could not, they couldn't take the risk that their client, the trades that their clients were taking on, they couldn't offload that risk into the true market. So that's a, a really that's a soft spot. That's an Achilles heel for ECNs. People don't think about that. So what you want to do is spread your money out amongst several brokers. Use something like a trade copier. If you use MetaTrader, you can look up MT4 and trade copier on the internet. You'll find things like uh, FX Synergy by Pecunia Systems and other things that you can use that where you place one trade in and it, and it takes the same trade across several uh, different accounts. That's a great way to spread your risk around, okay? Rotate your systems is another thing. Uh, by the way, if any of this stuff is helpful, you should definitely check out the Naked Trading class at nakedtradingclass.com. The link is above or below this video. It shows you how to grow an account quickly using one of three different methods. And one of those three methods is probably gonna be interesting to you. 
So uh, that's where you go to get that Naked Train class. There's a fancy schmancy download that will help you get all of the important points out of that class and all that sort of thing. Just go to nakedtradingclass.com. So with the uh, brokers, what they do is they lump you into uh, winners and losers, basically. The losers, they don't really care that much about you. And if you're a winner, they, 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 they'll slip you and they'll make sure that your trades are all accounted for and balanced out in the in the true interbank market and all that sort of stuff. I've talked to brokers, I've worked with brokers. Brokers don't care about you, okay? Brokers give you lots of free stuff because they want you to stay. That's what they care about. What happened to the Two Traders podcast? Oh, uh, Darren got married, but he's coming back. So Joe, Joe says, what happened to Two Traders? You guys can go to twotraderspodcast.com and get it, but uh, we're still on, we're, we're still happening. It's just uh, we haven't recorded in a while. And when Darren gets back from his little jaunt with his new bride, I'm sure we'll be recording again. Okay. Actually, there's a couple of new episodes that are going to drop, I think, this week and next week too. So that's hopefully you can you can you can listen to those. Um, so yeah, so the main thing with brokers is spread your risk out, rotate your system. So system A with broker one in January, system B with broker uh see some A with broker B in, in February and in March, rotate them across like that. You can do that every month if you're worried about them figuring out what you're doing. Um, use If you use like any sort of automated exits or EAs, just make sure you upload the EX about it, but you know, all that basically to make sure. Um, but just know that you're gonna get slipped and that you need to spread your risk out. If you can do those two things, check the, the ratings, see if they're getting really bad ratings. Almost all brokers are gonna have okay ratings. The ones you wanna avoid are the ones that have really bad ratings and a lot of ratings. So if they've only got five ratings or whatever, don't, it, who cares? But if they got 50 ratings, 100 ratings, and they're below average, then just steer clear of them. You can, when you open your account, put your money with your broker, pull it out like two days later. Pull all the money out except $5 so they have to leave the account for you. See how quickly it comes out. See what that process looks like. And then wire it back in. It's worth the 50 bucks to do that, to figure out, you know, what is this, what's this broker like? Are they going to let me have my money back? That sort of thing. So I hope that this helps. I hope that you go to the nakedtradingclass.com so you can see how to build an account quickly. I wish you happy trading and we'll see you in another video. Okay. Take care. Bye.